Indonesia's atheist convention in India draws 10,000 largest meetup in the world. This is so cool. On October 2nd, an annual gathering of atheists named Litmus 2022 took place in Kerala, India. Over 10,000 atheists and free thinkers from all across the state met up with each other in the Rajiv uh, Gandhi Indoor Stadium. The event organizers, Essence Global, promoted the gathering with the tagline, the world's biggest atheist meet in God's own country. <laughs> Debates and discussions on various topics such as atheism, religion, casteism, Hindutva, and politics and Islam took place at Litmus 2022. One of the organizers, Tommy Sebastian, said that the number of attendees has rapidly increased since the first event. Sebastian mentioned that the first gathering in 2018 had about 4,000 participants. Okay, first of all, 4,000 for your first event is crazy. <laughs> the second edition saw 8,000 attendees. This time, over 10,000 showed up for the event. The uh, During the event, one of the founding members of Essence Global, C. Uh, Ravi Chandran, compared God to a fictional character such as Harry Potter. Ashkar Ali, an apostate from Islam, centered his speech on Inshallah. And notable ex-Muslim activist Arif Hussein Therivath uh, debated the topic, is religious education necessary? So... Congratulations. This is the large is our... this the largest gathering of atheists in history, isn't it? Probably. Guys, this is the largest gathering of atheists in one place in history. Look at the pictures Susanna sent me. It's crazy. Wait, can I this is insane? We've this is an atheist convention, and this many people showed up. At a We've stadium. Never... They like filled the stadium. How come this is like, how come atheists, other guys, what other atheist channel are not covering this? This is why you come to Atheist Republic. We take India seriously. This is the biggest gathering of atheists ever in history. And Western atheists are not talking about this. Like our atheist channel are not talking about this. Okay. This is why you subscribe to Atheist Republic because we have an international focus. How is this being ignored by other atheists around the world? This is historic. This is a historic moment. Nobody has ever achieved gather this many people in one place over the topic of atheism. This is impressive. Thank you, India. This is amazing. Who are the, like the people who did this? Who's doing this? Can we? Oh my God. Unbelievable. And it's not like if the topic is atheism. It's just like they happen to be atheists. No, the topic is an atheist convention. Oh my. I'm just excited. Thank you, whoever. Good job, India. Good job, India. Amazing. You're leading the way, okay? You're leading the way in atheist activism, India. Slow clap. <laughs> yeah. I wish I was. I wish. You know what's missing here, Susie? I, us. We should have been there. We should have been there. I wanted us to be here. I know I to be because I have event. so many people who are I have friends who are speakers. I have friends who are going and they're like, oh my gosh, we want you to come. It'd be so much fun if you could join us, blah, blah, blah. And I mean, one, I knew that I couldn't make it because like I have stuff going on right now, but like pretend I didn't. Like, I don't know if I can go to the country right now. I don't know if I can go to India right now. I don't know if we I have, ever if can. I, we have me and Susanna have police reports filed against us in India. That's why we don't know if we ever could for ever blasphemy. Go for cartoons. For blasphemy. For, yes, cartoons. For, cartoons. For, so, for cartoons of goddess Kelly. So that's why we can't be at this convention. I would yeah. seriously have gone. If I if I didn't have police reports against me, I would have been at this convention. I would have. It would be so much fun. So, yeah, I don't know. I know that they're going to be doing this more frequently now that the pandemic is basically over. And um, the, if any, oh. this is any indication, like this is just going to continue to grow. Um, it's really cool. Oh, Gossam is saying love India from Iran. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what I love about Atheist Republic is like we have community everywhere. And so we talk about our global godless community everywhere. Like, I think you're so right, Armin. I'm so focused on what or our organization is doing. Sometimes I don't even notice the lack of coverage from other people. Because I'm just yeah. focusing on what we're doing, right? And so I think that's a really good point. Like, 
when the other day with secular rarity, you were talking about like people not a big North American atheist people not talking about what's happening in Iran. I was shocked. Like I didn't even think about that, you know? And I think what I love about our organization is that for me, when these things happen, it feels so personal because Mm -hmm. I have friends that go to these conventions. They send me pictures of how things go. They, they send me, you know, photos of their favorite moments saying, Oh my gosh, we wish you were here. You know, on the other side, when, there are people risking their lives in Iran. We have people that are part of our community. Like if you're watching like your community who are risking their lives to fight for their freedoms, to fight for secularism, they send us photos of how the besieged assaulted them. Like this is part of our international like solidarity with each other. We gain strength from each other and excitement about how things could be in the future. And, So I love to cover stuff like this because if, I don't know, because of the way I see our community, it feels like a win for all of us in a way. Yeah. Okay. No man gave us a super chat of of 40 rupees. Uh, Thank you so much for the super chat and saying, how can I get invited to these meets? I think you just go there. I think. So my understanding is this is not an invite situation. This was a big event. This was a a convention where basically you you buy a ticket and attend. (coughs) Oh, wait, this was a, this was, you buy tickets and 10,000 people showed up? So this was not free and still 10,000 people showed up? Yeah. This was a paid event and still 10,000 people showed up? I'm assuming this is a paid event. If they have this level of production and they're doing it in a stadium, someone's got to be paying shit. Yeah. I mean, this is okay. a convention, right? Like people pay to go to conventions. I I didn't actually look on their mm-hmm. website. I'm just making a baseline assumption. Okay, we don't know if it's paid or not. Okay, but I'm assuming. Think... Yeah. <laughs> let me okay. let me look it up real quick. <laughs> um, Darker thing still looks mostly dudes. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, th- that's an issue. I I was actually looking as well. I see one woman. You see this one here. I see one, <laughs> in a sea of men. I see. There's this like right here. Do you see? There were a lot of there... women who were speaking as panelists, though. Oh, that's nice. Okay, good. Yeah. Representation. Okay. So hopefully that could improve. Um, okay. Anor, but I don't Anor. want people to think that this is a problem with litmus or something because globally, the people who are most likely to be involved in atheist community is men. It's just a fact. Yeah, yeah. This, you, this if you look at the analytics of any atheist organization or any atheist channel, our analytics, it's mostly men. This is just a fact. Like it's not yeah. any specific organization. We see this everywhere. Yes, it's, it's the testosterone that makes us more rebellious. <laughs> Shut up. We don't care. What? It's true. <laughs> we already deal with enough accusations of sexism oh. just because of the disproportionate gender balance hey, it makes that us... just happens organically. But you saying that does not paint a good picture when people are already giving that narrative. Thank you very much. <laughs> it makes us violent as more violent as well. It's not just a good thing. It's not all it's not necessarily a good thing. Okay. <laughs> It's not all, it's not all, it's not, yeah, it's not all positive. Um, okay, so it was a paid event, It, but it was only 300 rupees. Oh, wow, that's actually more impressive. I thought this was free and 10,000 people showed up. These people had to pay and 10,000 people showed up? I'm mm-hmm. more impressed. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Um The fact even, here's the thing, even if it's one rupee, okay, the fact that you have to do something to get the ticket beyond just showing up usually reduces the numbers by a huge number. I mean, actually, no. Well, never mind. I'm I'm impressed. That's all I'm going to (laughs) say. Anon Anon Ayar is saying, hey, Armin, thanks for all your efforts. Greeting from north of Iran. Hey, Anon Ayar, thank you for that. Uh, This is, this made me sad. Read, you read this one. Oh, young atheist is saying, I wish this could happen in Pakistan one day. Maybe it can. It will one day. Not soon. Okay, I'll be honest with you. It's not going to be soon, but it will one day. Probably, you're probably not going to be alive to see it, but at least know that it will happen one day. It will happen. I promise you that it will happen one day. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much of the programming of this convention was in english because i know that this is like largely a south indian event so i believe they're probably speaking uh malayalam 
Um, but I know that this actually did draw a lot of people from around the country. So maybe they were speaking in English since that is like the lingua franca. Um, I hope so. Because when people are asking me like, oh, Susanna, you should go, you should go. And I'm like, I don't, I wouldn't know what anyone is saying. <laughs> Look, you got newspaper coverage too. Yeah. It is in the newspaper, guys. Atheist meat attracts huge participation. Four newspapers in India covered this. And no, there was way For more. This is just the physical print copies. Oh. It got Amazing. way bigger coverage than just four. It's just like who actually put it in the physical newspaper. By the way, I just want to say not only not only Pakistan will have an atheist convention one day, I mean in many years from now, like this, okay? We will have an atheist convention like this in Kaaba, okay? I knew around that's what Kaaba. you were gonna say. <laughs> okay. We will have a gay pride parade around the Kaaba in Mecca. And we will have an atheist convention in Mecca as well. Around the, we will have seats all around the Kaaba, okay? And the speaker will be on top of the Kaaba, okay? And we'll be, all the per people will be around us, okay? That will happen one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, young atheist, wait, this is really important. They're saying, I am from Pakistan. I try to find people like me, but I can't find one. You should join our Discord server. So in the description to this video, or also on our website, you can see the little icon in the corner here. We have a link to our Discord server. You can find a lot of people who are like you on our Discord server. And we actually also have consulates, like local meetup groups in Pakistan that are on our website. If you go to atheistrepublic.com slash consulates, you should be able to find a group in Pakistan. So yes, this is what we're here for. Atheist Republic is here specifically to provide community for people like you. So thank you for joining our live chat and coming today. Yeah, we should actually, Susanna, we should market our Discord, Atheist Republic Discord uh, server more often. That's a good, really good place for people to just chill and hang and talk about stuff. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. like, especially because yeah. it's Discord, like, someone should always be up at any time, right? Versus in a yeah. consulate, you know, things are a little bit different. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. Anyways, I did a, a injustice to the Indian Atheist Convention, okay? Because you sent me something to show. And we mischaracterized the event, okay, as being a sausage fest. Because I just noticed that I didn't, this guy, is this from the convention? Yeah, he's like the main organizer of Essence Global. Oh, so we know the main organizer is this guy. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your service. He did the Indian <laughs> convention. So tell our video editor to add this uh, to the end of that section because there are pictures here that we didn't share. And also we, I was looking for the person to thank and apparently it's this guy. So thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, Okay, here. Uh, look at this. This is actually a little, little bit more diverse than I thought. Is this from the convention? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, there's a lot of girls here. Look at that. Um, yeah. In fact, it, it was so full that there's that there's not, not enough chair. This is a sign of a successful event where people have to actually, they're forced to sit on the ground because there's not enough chair for everybody. So that's great. So also- Of course, it's the women sitting on the floor. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I just knew it. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, this one. Oh, there's more women here. Look at that. Okay, so it's more diverse than I thought. Like here, there's some women here. Like at least four here. No, oh, there's more here. Oh, actually, yeah, it's actually pretty diverse. Actually, a lot of atheist, a lot of atheist women in India. Great. You know, grape. You know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> amazing <laughs> grape. <laughs> grape, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so that's good you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw muhammad hindu goddesses sexy hijabi art jesus mother mary japanese god greek gods and much much more click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art